Okay, this is my new washer dryer spinner thingy. It's not a dryer. It, well, it's a washer with a spinner. This is the spinner. That's the washer. I'm gonna wash a load of clothes real quick, kind of show you how this whole thing works. All right. I got a hose here. Now you can fill it up with regular water, or this actually fits on my camper hose, and it goes all the way down into there and right in there, and it's filling up with water. Better catch whatever that is down in there. Not sure what that is. Piece of dirt. Piece of dirt. A bug. Whatever. Anyway, you put your soap in like so. And then you turn it on, the little knob here. All this is is a timer that agitates the water. And this is basically what it'll be doing when the washing, or when the clothes are in your washing. So you fill it up to your uh, desired bubble. While you're doing that, these these are the clothes I've got. Where are my clothes? Oh, that's okay. It's all right. I got a pair of shorts, two pair of shorts, and four shirts. Four shirts. That's it for this load, but it holds more. Yeah, it holds a lot more, but that's all we're doing for today is two pair of shorts and um, four shirts. We've done what maybe three times that much, almost. Yeah, it holds a lot. Yeah. It's about a third of a regular load. Yeah, about a third of a regular load. But anyway, you let this thing agitate. You really don't even need to do it for that long. I'm letting it fill. Yeah. We're letting it fill. While it's filling, close this real quick. Basically, you've got a timer, and it goes up to 15 minutes on this side. You've got a soft, normal, and drain on how it washes. And then the spinner, which we'll do at the end, goes up to five minutes. I'm not sure what the soft is. I think it just doesn't agitate quite so much, but I haven't really noticed much of a difference. And like I said, this doesn't always work out as well as it should. A lot of people are saying that this doesn't fit to anything. And it does, it fits on your camper hose. One thing I did notice is um, you probably need to have full hookup or ready to drain your tanks because this does take a lot of water. Anyway, while it's doing that, now it's, yeah, it's about done. Put your clothes in there, like so. Push it down in there, and then you can you close the lid and turn it on. You turn it to 15 minutes, and that kind of gives you an idea of what it's doing. A bit more water. It's still adding water to it, but that's fine. We're kind of eyeballing the water thing. That's probably good. That's Watch probably good. Okay. Turn that off there. And let it agitate for 15 minutes. And then you let it agitate for 15 minutes. And we'll be back. Okay. Now the clothes are done, or they're they're done washing. Okay. And just shut off after 15 minutes. Now so you press the, the drain button. Right here, or you turn the drain knob right here. And you just turn that on. And my wife wanted me to move all the, the shampoo out of the way, but it really doesn't matter. We put this up by our washer, or by our uh, shower. You see all the water coming out of there. A lot of people on the Amazon um, review says that this thing doesn't drain really well. I didn't really notice. I mean, if you look, I did put this up on a on a stool so that it's as high as the uh, shower or close to it. I did notice I had to lift it there at the end to get a get a full uh, full drain. But it only weighs like 15, 20 pounds, so it's not that big of a deal to pick up. I just got these nifty little handles on the side. All right, the water's draining. Done. It's still just on. about. If you lift it up a little bit, get some of the water off the bottom. And if you notice it, it drains a little bit more. Okay, so now that it's done, turn the water back on. You turn this back to normal. 
turn the water back on and fill it up again, just like a regular washing machine. Fill up with clear water. And when it gets up there, um, we've been adding a little bit of fabric softener because if you're going to air dry these, your stuff's going to be a little stiff. Just kind of wait for this to fill up here. It takes a little while and you can probably fill it up faster with a hose if you want to do that. Pour your fabric softener in. Put the water on for right now. Just put it on to agitate it a little bit. See if you've got enough water in there. You kind of know that it's got enough because it, that's enough. Because it, it'll be agitating. So we turn that off. And you can let it uh, you can let it agitate with clear water for as long as 15 minutes if you want. We usually put ours at about six. Let it agitate. Okay, so now it's done drain or er, rinsing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you press the turn the drain on again, let the water drain out. That's what I mean. If you've got if you're doing this in a camper, you really need to have full hookup because this does take a lot of water. Either that or maybe right before you leave, you can. Uh, do this and then drain your tanks because it, it takes a lot of water. In fact, right now I closed our drains and I'm probably going to have to do it again. I'll just give you an idea. We've done nothing but do uh, laundry or this load rather with uh, um, an empty tank. So when we get finished, I'll look at the uh, the water level and see where we're at. So, we've done three washings with an idea. Let's see, where's our gray water? Yeah, and our gray water is already half full. The gray water is half full. Alright, so the water's them coming out so I'm gonna turn it to normal okay so you turn it back to normal and now this is actually my favorite part right here is this little spinner dude you put your clothes up you, you know you push push a little bit of water out you really don't have to do that that much oh by the way while she's doing that this little piece here it goes in this little piece right here and it broke off and I don't know what it does other than maybe strain the lint out it doesn't seem to affect this any. I'm not, not, this happened when I, I put some towels in there. But. So you only want to put about a third of a full load in the spinner, or right. in this case, half of a small load. Right. All right, and you take this, this little pusher that you got with it, put it down in there, push it down, close that, close that, and you turn it on. You gotta hold it for a second if it, this thing is sitting on a uh, on a stool. But once it gets spinning, it doesn't go anywhere. It just, as long as it's level, it spins. And it spins for five minutes. Okay, this thing has about 30 seconds left on it. If you open it up while it's running, it, it automatically shuts off. There's a safety issue there. <clears throat> but as soon as it clicks, I'll go ahead and open it. It'll slowly spin to a stop. But like I said, this thing is pretty stable on the floor. I put it on a stool for this one just so that um, I wanted to see how the how the uh, pump worked. If it was sitting up a little higher, and it does work somewhat better. But I'll show you when we get finished how you have to kind of lift it up to get the rest of the water out. Okay, now it's done. You go ahead and you lift it up. Lift this thing up here. And you're 
going to see these things are pretty much, I'd say about 80% dry. Granted, again, there's not as much in here as there was, you know, some of the loads that we did. This was our last load. Kind of wanted to show you how that works. But, um, and we've still got these to put in here. So, go ahead, stick those in there. Another thing, we've been debating on whether or not to leave the drain on while this is going or off. I think it's probably better to leave it on. Kind of spins a little bit or bounces a little bit, but then when it's done, you can start it. And that's the other half of this laundry. And like I said, if you leave the drain on, it does some of the water that's in there kind of floats out. Alright, so this is done. This one's done. And like I said, they're about what? What would you say? About 80% dry? 70% yeah, right? dry? Yeah. They're pretty dry. They're pretty dry. Okay. The last thing here, you need to hold this. Just hold this. You don't have to just point it right here. Okay. I put it on drain. And if you look, there's no water coming out. But if I lift this thing up a little bit, now you got some water coming out. And and I do that just enough to get it get the rest of it out so that you don't have water sitting there and then it drains and that's it this is a Della mini wash spinner I think is the name of it there's a bunch of different ones on Amazon and but this one was one of the best sellers and 90 bucks and pretty much worth it for any trip longer than a week where you got laundry but you don't want to use a laundromat um, it's a little cumbersome but it fits in a cabinet back behind our uh, bed pretty easily like I said it weighs about 15 pounds and there you go